What is going on, nerds and nerdettes? It's your boy, Stevie B, with the latest haul video. This one's going to be a, a pretty big haul. Um, somehow, I, I'm like I said, in my attempt to get caught up, kind of caught up with my Midtown shipments, like I said, um, I think uh, I actually got uh, this week's before I could post last week, so I'm going to post both weeks <laughs> so that we can get a little caught up, and then uh, by the time I get my next one, uh, which is the comic books that you know, came out on the blah, 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 17th or 16th, came out on the 16th, I'll get those next week. Following along? I hope you are, because I'm sure they'll lost. But anyway... Anyway, let's just get into it because there's a lot of Midtown. This is mostly Midtown stuff. Didn't get a whole lot of eBay stuff. Got a couple that I want to talk about. But um, but let's get right into it. All right, first up, um, we got Batman Urban Legends number four. Digging this. Um, love that cover. Love that painted cover. Cover is just awesome. But uh, this is the first... Uh, appearance of cheer um he's a, he's a uh basically a drug distributor distributes the drug cheer drops and this is his first appearance and it's also the first appearance of chaos master so a couple first appearance now i know dc first appearances aren't really panning out that that much so yeah so you kind of get <clears throat> You know, you kind of approach the, the first appearances with a, you know, a, a certain degree of, eh, oh well. <laughs> but, eh, you, ne you never know. But, um, anyway, next up we got <clears throat> Venom number 34. And this is the second to the last uh, book in the Donnie Cates run. And he's fixing to wrap it up. So... I'm excited to see what happened or where, where they go with it after he, the 200th legacy issue. And they hope they don't, I don't know if they're going to reboot it again or if they're going to do just whatever. But I, but, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, by now I think the cat's out of the bag about, about what happens in the, you know, in, in 200, you know, if not spoiler alert, fast forward, but you know, with, uh, Dylan Brock taking over as Venom. So, Anyway, and next up, we got part three of my new mini, of the new uh, Super Sons mini series. So, stoked to get that. And this one, uh, this one's already showing a little promise um, from Aftershock Comics. Uh, this is a bunny mask, number one. But I picked one of these up, and it's it's already. There's already quite a bit of buzz going on about this, so you never can tell. But I got this variant, you know, cut out mask cover. <laughs> but um, so I'm excited to see where that where that heads. And this one I've been picking up. I'm probably going to stop, get one more issue of this, and then I'm probably going to uh, cut it back. But it's uh, Children of the Atom number four. Not not. It's not, yeah, it's just not doing it for me. But I'd like to try to get to at least the first five issues and give it a chance. So I'll give it the first five and see what happens. And then we got Action Comics number 1031. And this is uh, the first appearance of Thel La. And I can't remember who that is. Um... I can't remember who that is, but um, I'll probably put a picture. If I have one, I'll put a picture, you know, right here of who that is. But uh, first appearance, again, DC first appearances. Eh. And then we've got, I've been picking these up. I'm kind of digging these. Uh, Shadow Man, or Spider Man's Spider, sh Spider Man, Spider's Shadow. Son of a bitch. That's hard to say. <laughs> but, um, this one, that new What If series, it's what if Peter Parker had never gotten rid of the symbiote suit. So it's pretty intriguing. I think it's a five-part series. I'm not sure, but um, 
but kind of cool digging on it and then this is doing pretty well i'm digging on this kind of like this uh this is uh the the joker number four but love that cover but i'm kind of digging on that it's pretty cool and this one i have no idea what's going to happen with this one uh it's uh, there's a what they're can people are considering like a major first appearance in this and we'll have to see but it's the first appearance of, of harley keener now harley keener made his debut i believe it was in iron man 3 in the movie and this is his first comic book appearance and there's a rumor floating around that that harley keener is is going to be the like new iron man or something but um it's also the first appearance of the worldwide engineering brigade hence the acronym web so this is web of spider-man number one but so that hard that harley keener there people are specking on that pretty hard uh that he's something big's gonna happen with him so that may be one good one to hold on to and then we get into what i guess would be the week last week's for me so um anyway um i get my weeks if my weeks are so confused let's see today would be this would be the um so the 16th 15th i think the or maybe the 14th so anyway Week of week of June fourteenth, I think, is when these came out. But this is what I got with these, and this is uh, Batman the Detective number three. I'm digging on the on these, so I'm, I'm gonna probably get the first five, see where it goes. But not too bad. And I'll save that one. We'll save that one because that's probably the big boy, and as long as, as well as this one. But, um, and then also we got Legends of the Dark Knight number two. And this is the first appearance of Quiz, uh, one of the Riddler's sidekicks or something. So, but I'm, I'm so stoked they brought this series back. I hope they do it better than they did in the 90s. And then next up, just, uh, part, uh, number four of Alien. From the Marvel, another one which I'll probably get to. I'll probably get the first five of, and then maybe drop it unless you know it kind of picks up or something. But yeah, not one I'm really into. Now this one, um, this one is uh, Jupiter's Legacy Requiem number one. This um, awesome Boss Logic cover, and this is a Netflix series. I guess it's going going to be a Netflix series or already. A Netflix series, uh, based on a Netflix series or something. I'm I'm not really sure. I just thought it looked interesting and kind of a cover by. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I just Boss Log, Boss Logic's artwork is just phenomenal, man. I, I'm a big fan of his stuff. And I saw that cover and I was like, oh, that's sick looking. I gotta get one. And then I found found out it was Boss Logic and I was like, oh, no wonder I liked it. But so that was pretty cool. And we get into our big, our bigger key books this time, again. But one of them's DC, so take it with a grain of salt. But this is Nightwing number eighty-one, first full appearance and cover appearance of Heartless. So we'll see how that one pans out. Not bad. And in the big book for the run was uh, my Venom thirty-five. Legacy number 200. And yes, I got this Gleason cover. And <laughs> and honestly, I'm kind of hypocritical that I got it, to be honest. Um, but we all know this is the first uh, Dylan Brock as Venom. And uh, the debut of Eddie Brock's New Powers. So if you haven't read it by now, spoiler, you know. But anyway, but this... Uh, but the uh, Gleason covers, 
I haven't really, I ain't gone on my, I ain't gone on the channel. I haven't said it on online yet, but I'm just kind of been rolling my eyes on these, on these Gleason covers because, man, that first Spider-Man Gleason cover, that Spider-Man 55 was awesome because it was unique. Never seen one. Then they did the second printing and I got a second printing and I was, cause I didn't get a first printing, but I thought the cover was so unique and badass that I wanted one. And now they're just everywhere. Now these Gleason spiderweb covers are putting them on everything. And then now it's just, it's kind of like when that new song debuts and you think, wow, this song is great. And then the radio station plays it until you're just sick and tired of listening to it. That's where they, they're going. They took a great idea and then they saturated the market with them. So now these spiderweb, these Gleason uh, spiderweb covers aren't unique anymore because they're on every fucking spider title there is and some that ain't even spider title i think there's a do you poo or the winnie the pooh spider web but so you know they they took a neat thing and they saturated the market and they and and they made it no longer unique anymore so but i got this cover because I w of the ones i had a choice the ones that they gave me to choose from, I like this one the best. Just, I still like the covers, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying they're not, they've lost, they're losing their appeal because there's just so many of them. Now everything's getting one of those covers. But anyway, that is all for my, for my Midtown, um, you know, last two weeks of Midtown. Now just a couple, well, there's one other book I got from Midtown, but I saved it to explain why I picked these others up from uh, from um, eBay, my little eBay purchases. My little, I, I always like to try to give you guys a, one of those low-level key books that could, that have potential to be something, and I used to try to do that in one, in every video, just, you know, to kind of, you know, share what I what my opinions are and give you guys a little insight to what how my brain thinks I know a scary place to be it really is I know it is but anyway but big hype around this uh Star Wars uh War of the Bounty or yeah War of the Bounty Hunters um um event and uh and also the Mandalorian uh being as popular as it is you know, all these bounty hunters are showing up on the Man Mandalorian show. And I think this this uh, War of the Bounty Hunters uh, uh, crossover event, or not crossover, uh, but uh, just the Star Wars event that's happening now is going, is going to bring back a lot of the bounty hunters that you, you've seen in past issues of Star Wars that maybe didn't really get a big, you know, a big part in the books but may get a big part in them now. So I thought it may be worth your while to go back and get some of these first first appearances of some of these bounty hunters in uh, some of the old Star Wars books. I think I got one in the last video I did that I showed, but I got a couple more. And and this one is the well first, in, first appearance of in, Inspector Thanos. Which I don't think is a bounty hunter now that I say that, but but um, I think there was some speculation on this coming up in the Mandalorian. And then I, the one that arrived today as of this video was the first appearance of C21 High Singer. Um, this was a droid bounty hunter. So, you know, again, possibilities. And this one I got I kind of kind of on accident to be honest with you, but but it has a cameo appearance in it. Um, I thought this was I, for some reason I thought this was the uh, War of the Bounty Hunters, the core title that's coming out instead of the tie-in. But it's actually Bounty Hunters number thirteen, and it's a War of the Bounty Hunters tie-in. But it is the first cameo appearance of Death Stick. So I'll hold on to it. But anyway, so there's my, those are my, that's my haul for this week. Um, no big bangers in there other than maybe the Venom 235 or whatever. 
But um, again, I like to show you a couple little specs that I pick up at least every once in a while. And be honest with you, those are those are spec books that I'll hold on to, and and uh, probably if something if something happens with them, and they and they kind of catch a little heat, probably sell them so I can you know get some books that I'm after. Right now, my biggest book that I really want that just keeps getting higher and higher out of my reach is the uh, D uh, DC Comics Presents 26, first appearance of the Teen Titans as we know them now. I would love to have my hands on that book, and it just keeps keeps going up and getting out of my range, out of my reach, just out of my reach. I'm gonna have to sell a big boy book, as you can see from this blank spot in my wall up there, which I'm gonna have to replace. One of my wall books is gone. Stevie B had to sell his Ultimate Fallout 4 8.0. First print. Had to sell it. R Russ over at Collect. What? He was the he's the proud recipient of that book. Oh, but I'm glad it went to somebody, a, a friend of mine in the community. At least I know it went to you know a good home, and I'm happy about that. But it does make me a little sad that I had to that I had to get rid of one, but it, I, if I had to part with one of them, that was the one I was the most willing to part with as of now. Next one on the list that might be willing to part with, if I have to part with another one, who knows, may have to sell that one. It's a, it's a 9.2, but, um, oof, I don't know. It's hard to sell books. I don't know. Some people are, are so good at it. They can just, they put their shit on Instagram and boom, it's gone. I put mine on there and it's like crickets. It's hard to move them books. But anyway, I digress. I will replace that with another slab that I have in some back, back stocks here. Um, uh, that didn't have room in my slab wall. I'll fill that spot up and put something in there. I actually should have done it before I video, videoed, but I was kind of in a hurry. But anyway, um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, make sure you, uh, go to my playlist. I, I have, I have then my new playlist with the community shout outs and I encourage everyone to go there and check out who, who spotlight is on for that week and go sub them up. I'm, I'm really, you know, again, I, again, I have to, I have to give, uh, Gary B, uh, the casual comic collector, a casual comic guy. <laughs> Sorry, Gary. But anyway, Gary B. I had to. I had to give him props for what he's doing in the community, shouting out channels and stuff. And and he made me, you know, and made me refocus my attentions on on trying to do that. And I'm not a big channel, so I don't have the influence, you know, uh, of of like Wink Inc. And you know, he does a lot of shout outs too, and and giveaways to promote smaller channels and that's great so i don't have i don't have that kind of influence but i try to do my part man it'd be really helpful to me and mean a lot to me if you guys just check out that playlist and see who's being spotlighted in there and go hit them with a sub and help me grow this community because you know i love it but that being said enough of my rambling before you go make sure you like my shit comment on my shit subscribe to my shit Turn that bell on so you don't miss my new shit. We'll see you guys in the next shit. Peace.